Well, welcome. Thanks, Wendy. Welcome, everyone. Thank you all for joining. I'm really excited about walking you through this process. This is called the PMO Lifecycle, the PMO Assessment and Inventory Process. So what are we talking about here? What are we doing? Well, when we, when we think about how we walk into a PMO, how do we assess that PMO? So you just got hired and you're coming into a PMO, what do you do? You're interviewing for a job, what do you ask for? So really what we're going to walk you through today is this three-step process of how to in, in, inventory and assess the PMO, either just walking in the door or literally um, interviewing for it. So I'm excited to walk you through it. As Wendy said, I have 27 years of hands-on experience. I've been at Microsoft for 14 years, AT&T. I've been an instructor at Bellevue College in the Seattle area for many, many years. Uh, presented all around the world, just got back from London. I've been on the radio. I've done several PMI events. I've got an MPUG event coming up. And as Wendy talked about, I do have four books I've written. A lot of this material is from my last book, uh, The PMO Lifecycle, Building, Running, and Shutting Down. Uh, the Project Management Communication Tools, I still actively teach out of that book, The Tactical Guide for Building PMO. And back in 2008, so 10 years ago, I published my first book, The Project Management Communication Bible with Wiley. So lots of experience, lots of passion in this area, and certainly glad to be walking you through it. Okay, so what are we, um, the agenda today, what are we going to talk about? Really the three-step process. So we'll walk you through the three steps. Um, we'll talk about the selection of tools and how we're going to collect it. We'll look for areas to watch for during this process, and really I'll give you some best practices, and then we'll do a quick wrap-up and, and get some more information. So you are embarking on a huge process here. Okay, this is going to take time and energy, and frankly, it is no easy task, right? But what I've done is I've tried to put a standard process together. I've not seen this done anywhere, and what I've done is really created a three-step process to walk you through how to assess a PMO. And like I said, it could be for an interview, or it could be you just got hired, and you really don't know what to do, what's your first steps. And so I strongly suggest you walk through this step. Okay, and those three steps are develop a plan. So we're gonna start with a plan. And so um, this is really about getting a project schedule in place and, and really um, being able to spend that time and document the process and, and document the time that you're gonna to spend to develop that plan. So let's go through that. Before we do though, um, this is a big job, right? This is, like I said, it's a big effort. And what you're going to do is you want to take the time and document what you'll be doing. So you're going to need that time to allow that complete understanding of the environment, right? And so what a schedule will do will really give you the justification to say, here, here are all the things I'm going to do. We'll walk you through that. But here are all the things I'm going to do and talk to your management about, um, you know, why, why you're doing it and how long it's going to take. And that really gives you that justification to say, here, here's what I'm doing and here's the process I'm going to take and here's who's involved. I really can't stress enough how important this is. One of the things that you'll get from management is, let's get started, let's get going, you know, start producing, start producing, and you're going to want to step back and say, hey, this stuff's going to take time. This is a huge effort that we're embarking on here, and I'm going to need some time to really ramp up and understand. And so here's that schedule, right? Here's a, um, um, a, obviously a snapshot, but what you're going to do is you're going to have the 10 areas um, assessing the PMO, you're going to have, you know, just a basic project schedule. It's very, it's very simple. This is just a sampling, of course. But what I love about this uh, schedule is it gives you a starting point. It gives you the task of what you're going to do across each of these areas. And really, you need to have a schedule on every project. This one's no different. And so what we'll do is really walk through uh, some of the areas of that schedule. So let's break down what we're putting in the schedule. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to walk through the 10 major steps to assess a PMO. And therefore, in your schedule, you're going to put all those details. Now, that's going to take time. That's not going to be something that you can do in a day or two. It's going to take some time. So putting these areas into a schedule will give you that structure, will give you the things that you want to tackle across each of these areas. You'll add timing. You'll add names. 
right? And so you'll add all the scenario, you'll add all the people that you feel like you need to get help from. And so that's a that's an important call out is you want to make sure that you actually have the folks in there. And so if we break it down a little bit, man, so we'll look at assessing the environment and therefore what are all the things that you're going to do when you assess the environment? Who's responsible? How, what's the start date? What's the end date? And then you'll s assess the org structure. And then all the questions, will you be looking for portfolio managers? Will you be looking for program managers? Right? What are all the things that you do to assess the org structure? Same with the portfolio work, right? Same with uh, the budget and the financial process. And again, just a snapshot, but if, what it does is it really sets the foundation of all the things that you're going to tackle, and having it in the schedule here gives you the uh, allocated time. And so I think that's really, really important as you look at this and you see, and of course, it's just uh, sampling dates here, but it, there, it will take time to accomplish this, to go through the interview, to ask the questions. And so having a schedule really gives you that detail that you're going to need, right? So go into the schedule and expand each of those 10 areas to allow you to track that work. Right, um, And so one of the things you also need to do is you may need help in each of these areas because you're brand new. Or if you're just interviewing for a job, you're going to be asking these questions. And so you'll use the schedule to really kind of walk through some of the questions that you can literally ask. Right, Most of the work when you're assessing and it's you, you, you as a PMO manager, most of the work will default to you. But because you're new and if you are walking into this new environment, you won't know everything right away. You won't. Be, you may make assumptions that um, you know maybe jump into the wrong conclusion, and so you don't want to rush through this. You want to make sure you've got a schedule, you've got a time. You can go back to management and say, "Hey, this is exactly what this is going to take." So having a schedule really will help you be organized as possible, right? Um, it's also going to give you a take control of, of, of what you're doing and how long things take. And really, it's going to help you have that conversation with management. So I think it's really, really critical. So step one is really about having a schedule and having that schedule and making sure that you have that time, you have the justification, and you've thought out all the various things that you're going to do in each of these areas. And again, we just saw a sample there, but it's really about getting you thinking about what are all the things and what are all the questions that we should be asking across each of these areas. Does that make sense? So, you know, every project needs a schedule. This project, and, and again, ramping up an inventory of PMO is, is a project as well. It needs a schedule. And so having that schedule will just give you that, that ongoing kind of that rigor around what you're trying to accomplish. So really believe strongly in step one being you needing that schedule. Okay? So step two is about documenting your findings. Right, and so what do we mean about that? So what, over the course of this process, you're going to collect a ton of data on how the PMO is operating, right? So it's really important to have a tool where you can collect and analyze that data. So let's look at that tool. And so here it is here. So this is a brand new tool that I developed, and it's called the PMO Assessment Inventory Guide. And in this tool, it's basically aligned directly to your schedule. So you assess your PMO environment, assess your structure, assess your portfolio work. And again, you're just seeing the sampling. You're going to have the names of the people you talk to. You're going to have the yes or no if it's applicable or not. And then you're going to write up notes. And you're going to take tons and tons of notes as you go through this process. Right, And so, again, it's 100% aligned to the schedule, but the question is, well, why can't I use the schedule? Well, this is going to be much easier to add data, add rows, add columns, and really allow you to have a great tool that you can go back and forth, back and forth. You're not seeing dates in here. You're not, you're not, ha you're not seeing dependencies, and you're not seeing all the goodness that a schedule brings but you are seeing a real raw data collection tool where you can uh, add as much data and as raw data around all these conversations. And so this is really an amazing um, data collection tool that will help you go through this process. And again, what you're seeing is if you're interviewing, if we just step back and we say, hey, if we're interviewing here, you know, you're actually going to start asking questions. Do you have a portfolio managers? Do you have project managers? Do you have program managers? So you're starting to get that feel 